Hi there, this is the Jimbo song by the Reverend Horton Heat. Um, I started off with the action pack part of the song, which is the solo, but the main meat of the song is going to be um, the crazy flurry of notes at the intro, and then that repeats a couple times throughout the song, and then the um, verse, pre chorus, and chorus riff. So, um, first let's take a look at that intro. That's just a, a flurry of legato notes. <laughs> which to me sounds like that. I didn't slow it down, but that's that's pretty close when you play along with the recording. So that's just a hammer on from um, E to F sharp to G sharp. And then we're gonna do um, the A, B, and A note on the fifth string. So we have open, second, fourth, all hammer ons, and then open, second, open um, but we're only picking that first note the open string so in those first uh, six notes we're only picking the open strings okay and then we're gonna hammer from F sharp to G sharp on the sixth string so from two to four so so far we have note eight notes Okay, and then we're gonna be on the C sharp. And we're just gonna pull off from C sharp to B. Hammer back to that note. Hammer to D. Pull off to C sharp. Pull off to B. And then go to this G sharp. And then we're on this uh, C sharp power chord. Then we have this sort of like motorhead type of riff. Reminds me of Ace of Spades a little bit. So all that is is just C sharp, then hammer from F sharp to G sharp, two to four on the sixth string, and then go to B, the second fret of the fifth string. Okay, and then we're going to be on this A power chord. Okay, and then um, where the, he's going J, I, M, B, O, that's A, E, B, F sharp. And then... Then we're back to that. So slowly, that would be um, from the from the beginning there. A. A. E. D. E, F sharp. C sharp. A. F sharp, C sharp. Then we're on the pre chorus, and that's just G sharp, F sharp. E. And then C sharp power chord, and then that's where it goes in the, um, the chorus there. J I M B O, J I M B O. All right, so that's the basic um, basic structure of the, the chords of the song. Now let's look at the solo. So that first little section, um, we're kind of doing a dip on the A string. And we're kind of going up sort of an A7 arpeggio. So that's, um, let's, let's go through the notes here. So we have the dip on the A, then the C sharp at the fourth fret, the A string, then we're doing the E note on the 
second fret of the D string. Okay, and then we're gonna go up to the fifth fret of the D string and play five, seven, and then we're gonna go to the C natural at the fifth fret of the third string. And then we're gonna play this little A um, triad, which is C sharp at the sixth fret of the G string, and then five on the second string, which is the E note, and then five on the first string, which is the A note. So we have C sharp, E, A, notes of the uh, A triad there. Okay, and then we're gonna bend from the dominant seventh, which is G up to A. Okay, and then we have the A note, and then follow that with the G note. Okay, and then we're gonna do this, double stop at the fifth fret. So it's the fifth fret, then the open, two strings, bottom two strings. So it's five, open, seventh fret, 10th fret, ninth fret. Okay, so um, it does that little double stop thing. Okay, and then we're on this bluesy lick in, uh, in C-sharp pentatonic. Actually, it's a C-sharp blues scale. Okay, so we have the C-sharp note at the ninth fret of the um, first string. Okay, and then we're bending this 12th fret B note up to the C-sharp note that we just played, basically. So those notes should match. Okay, and then we're gonna go. And we're just going down the blue scale. So that's just 12, 9, 12, 11, 9, 11, and then we go up to this, and that's 11 on the A string, 14 on the A string, and then 11 on the D string. Watch that slow. Okay, and then we have this tremolo pick thing. Okay, so what that is is just the A note and the G sharp note. Then you slide that up an octave to the um, 17th and 16th frets. So it's fifth and fourth fret. Then we do this double stop thing again. Okay, and then we're gonna be in C sharp uh, blue scale again, but um, it's a little bit different like. Okay, so this time we're doing this, we're doing the C sharp, bend, and then C sharp again, the ninth fret. And then we're gonna do B, and G sharp, G, F sharp, E, so 12, 11, 9. And then the root note, C sharp note there, the 11th fret. 
and then we're going to do B, C sharp, 9 and 11 on the D string, and then this double stop on the B and uh, G string. Okay, and then um, we're, we're playing over the G. G sharp, F sharp, E thing. And what he's doing there is just outlining the chords. So we have the G sharp. So you, you play this sort of triad type shape. Um, this is the 13th fret of the D, G, and B strings. But we start out on the second string and we do a dip. We'll just go in G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E. You can do it down here too if you wanted to. This guitar, for whatever reason, the intonation is a little bit better in this lower position. So we have um, sort of a D chord shape at the eighth fret, which is actually a G sharp. And then you go down two frets. So you can do it either way. It's the same notes, just played in a different position. Um, okay, and then after that, that's the end of the solo when you go down to the E there. And then it goes back into that little intro sort of Floria note. Um, I think it does that. Well, it does that at the very end anyway. Um, and then it ends on this C sharp chord. So that's the Jimbo song. Good luck and I'll see you next time.